Well, hello, hello uh, to all the web free enthusiasts out there. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas for everyone who's tuned in. So we are starting this uh, year with a very high plank. And uh, of course, we could not expect uh, a better guest here today than uh, a representative of Tron Dao. Please welcome our new resident, uh, Sam Alfara. Hi, Sam. How's it going? Good, good. Happy to be here. Happy New Year's and I'm excited to see what this year has to bring. Yeah, that's actually uh, the main thing we're going to discuss. Of course, there will be a recap of 2024 since it has just ended and we can uh, uh, summarize the best things or even not so uh, awesome, but still we'll see. So um, to begin with and maybe to warm up a little bit since it's your first time I'm here today, uh, at Synopsis. Uh, could you please tell a few words about yourself, your background, just uh, to uh, tell our audience who you actually are? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I am a uh, community spokesperson for the Tron DAO. I've been working for the uh, the DAO as a contributor for about three years now or close to three years. Um, I also lead partnerships and, and go-to-market activations. I'm very excited to be here and continue to push the Web3 space to a more positive light especially with the AI, DeFi craze that's currently happening. And of course, with Tron, we have a massive amount of stablecoin activity that we want to continue to diversify and grow. Awesome. Thank you. So um, pretty wide uh, field of expertise you have. So uh, we're going to uh, walk through a big list of questions for today. And uh, I hope it will be insightful and interesting for everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Um, Let's begin then, uh, and uh, of course, starting with 2024. So uh, as we know uh, that uh, for some time uh, throughout uh, the past year, there was more Tron-based USDT in existence than that uh, on Ethereum, and that's massive. So uh, what do you consider the top achievements of the Tron ecosystem this year, besides what has just been mentioned? Yeah. I definitely think our, our massive stablecoin growth has been a massive driver um, that showcases our success. I think identifying that this activity is happening across the global south, so places like Latin America, Africa, Middle East, um, and even Southeast Asia have really pointed to how blockchain is used as an alternative um, and a solution to many problems that these areas are facing, whether it's the dollar gap, deflation of their local currency, or they use it for uh, increased settlement time. Um, and by increased settlement time, I more so mean like a reduction in that time. So I think when you incorporate all of that, um, those problems, those solutions are being solved utilizing the blockchain, especially with stable coins like Tether on Tron. And we've been able to uh, promote those stable coins in a wide variety in those areas, um, as well as providing utility. Some really great things that we've done um, in the year 2024 have also been centered around, as mentioned, providing utility for Tether on Tron, such as social security payments um, being accessible for payment in stable coins in the Philippines, as well as public transportation cards being accessible for payments in stable coins in Argentina. So these are things that we want to continue to push for or, or relative things or related things, I should say, um, going into this year as well. Awesome. Thank you. So uh, uh, there will be one more uh, narrow question about uh, the achievements and innovation, but uh, I cannot uh, wait to ask you about your uh, image of uh, average uh, user. So could you please tell us how has your user base, uh, base sorry, grown in 2024 and uh, who is your average user at the moment if you have some? Uh, yeah, yeah. as I alluded to earlier, I, I really think our average user is that user in the global south. So the person that um, has a lack of, I want to say this properly, um, I would say the average user is somebody in those global South areas. So Latin America, Africa, Southeast Asia, Middle East, and these places tend to be more developing markets. So economies that um, are, are stagnated due to deflation, unfortunately, um, or a lack of financial infrastructure that they may have. Um, so that lack of infrastructure, financially speaking, um, requires them to have to look for alternative means. One of those alternative means that have been proven to be very success successful are assets on the Tron network or digital assets on the Tron network, such as USDT, because it, it has low fees, it's extremely fast, it's transparent, and it's pegged to the US dollar, which is seen as the reserve currency of the globe. Um, 
and it allows them to um, hedge their assets against inflation. So I think that's really what our average user looks like. It's that everyday person. It's that mom or dad. It's that kid um, in these areas that are utilizing Tether to conduct transactions. And we've been able to grow our user base dramatically. Um, we now average close to 3 million daily active users. We're one of the most active uh, public layer one blockchains to date. And I'm very excited and happy to say that I'm, I've been a part of that growth and, and really much looking forward to next year um, or this year now, now that it's already 2025. Um, I think a major thing too is our revenue growth, specifically with the protocol, which has showcased how much Tether is circulating on Tron um, and how much demand there is for it. Obviously with this year, we want to ensure that we can keep our gas fees low. We want to promote our resource model more effectively, which essentially allows energy to be utilized to offset gas fees on the Tron network all the way down to zero. So this is a really unique feature that is pegged to the um, the blockchain at the, at the protocol level. And we want to be able to promote that as much as possible. Awesome. Thank you. So um, uh, I believe that uh, when I've been uh, just asking this question, uh, at least uh, uh, 50% or even more of the audience uh, for that, uh, like, Wow, the average user is me, the average user is me. So everyone can be the average user. But uh, if we think uh, from this point of view that you Sam provided, uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, more about like a, a regular usage and uh, you're providing a very important solution for those people who have a lack of banking infrastructure and uh, uh, for whom this uh, system is like uh, the way of being connected uh, with the rest of the world. and. Uh, uh, it's great contribution you guys do, so uh, mm -hmm. uh, appreciate it from uh, even being uh, a representative of the northern uh, part of the globe. So still, um, uh, I know that uh, it's a very big issue in uh, those parts and you do a great job for them. Yeah, thank you for recognizing it. Uh, yeah, and uh, well, uh, the next question would be uh, uh, what... Uh, in-house and uh, uh, third-party apps have been the most uh, popular in Tron in 2024? I think aside from Tether, because that's technically considered a D app um, as like an RWA project or a stablecoin, obviously JustLand has been very popular. Um, the introduction of memes on Tron, so SunSwap uh, or the SunDAO team, I should say, um, they've been able to be relatively successful as well um, with the introduction of creating meme communities. I really think just lend just because of the fact of utilizing energy or the resource model where you can utilize the native utility token to earn energy and you can delegate that energy to reducing your gas fees to near zero. Or if you're a developer, you can peg and delegate those that energy that you utilize or are attaining for any sort of smart contract call interactions that other users may have with it. So I think those platforms have been proven to be very successful on Tron. Now this year, we wanna introduce even more projects, whether it's externally or um, within the community already to build on the Tron network. And we wanna support those projects as much as possible. AI agents are extremely popular and this is something that I think is going to revolutionize the space for the better, as well as RWAs and other forms of payment uh, dApps. Yeah, sure. AI agents um, are going to um, just uh, burst this year for sure. And uh, uh, for the past year, uh, maybe it has been already mentioned, but uh, maybe you would like to highlight something. So could you please tell us uh, about Tron's biggest innovations in 2024? I think with Tron, we've been able to get a lot of interoperability protocols to integrate us. So layer zero is one of them. We've also been able to get some other major ones, but layer zero is one of the bigger ones. Um, we've also done an initiative with Tether and TRM Labs dedicated to reducing illicit activity called the T3FCU and working with global law enforcement um, to reducing illicit activity that may happen on the Tron network via Tether. Um, so we're very excited to continue to promote that as much as possible. Um, so that it makes the Tron network a more viable um, blockchain and, of course, optimal one as well and just a safe place to be. Um, on top of that, we've also announced a collaboration with Chainlink um, to make them a dedicated Oracle system on the Tron network. Um, so we're very excited to continue to promote that and work with their team very closely. 
on top of that, other initiatives that come to mind um, would also be maybe collaborations with AI platforms like ChainGPT. We've had successful hackathons throughout the year as well and want to continue to uh, do more collaborations, bring on more integrations and build out infrastructure on the Tron network. That's cool. So uh, when asking about the biggest innovations, uh, it ends up with uh, collaborations and uh, that's uh, also a very important thing because uh, it's uh, uh, the market and the entire industry is not just about competition, but about uh, collaborations and uh, the growth for all the directions. And that's awesome. And uh, uh, maybe you could uh, also share us uh, it's in for what collaborations have brought you the most value in 2024. Same. I would say the collaborations. Yeah. Yeah. No, no worries. I would say the collaborations that brought us the most value would be the ones that we've done with uh, payment D apps. So Poon DX is one that comes to mind. You quid uh, because we were able to utilize um, you could service to providing more utility to stable coins on Tron, like the Argentina Initiative for Public Transportation and the Philippines Initiative for Social Security Payments. So those are ones that come to mind. On top of that, I, I would also say major initiatives we've done with other payment DApps across Africa. Um, we have a lot in the works in 2025 that I can't necessarily mention right now, but we're very excited for the year and to kind of execute on these plans. Awesome. So for sure, yeah, uh, a lot of big things are coming and uh, we'll also discuss it uh, right now. So for 2025, we're uh, now and uh, could you tell us what will be the major focus areas for the Tron ecosystem this year? I, I would say for me personally, as someone who's leading a lot of the partnerships and go to market activations, AI agents is up there. Um, but on top of that, we also want to continue to focus on diversity. So decentralizing the ecosystem a bit more, bringing on more digital assets on chain. So the form of RWAs, whether it be uh, stable coins or other sorts of assets and, and bringing that on the Tron network. Though I think that's really the direction that we're going to be going in. Of course, in 2025, we also have gas abstraction that's being worked on, um, as well as continuing to make the Tron blockchain um lower in gas fees, more improved, and then introducing the resource model at a higher capacity that it already is being introduced at. So I think those are the main goals for 2025 and, and key focus areas. Awesome. So uh, sounds reasonable because diversification uh, is like synonymous to ecosystem in some way. So uh, we'll be uh, tricking what you guys are doing and uh, waiting uh, looking forward to try it by ourselves. So awesome. And uh, the next question, uh, of course, uh, I believe everyone can uh, guess what your answer will be, but maybe you can add something besides AI agents. So uh, uh, what recent web free uh, industry development uh, are you most excited about? Yeah, definitely something in the form of RWAs. I think getting more institutions to utilize the network um, or the blockchain is something that I'm excited to see. It's going to bring more mass adoption in Web3. And on top of that, anything to do with abstraction is going to be important as well. So making it easier for um, people from Web2 who may be either in the financial space or the um, uh, gaming space can utilize the Tron network um, or even other alternative blockchains um, for means of improving their product. Of course, me working um, or contributing to the DAO, we obviously want to see the Tron network grow. And we'll do everything we can to build out the infrastructure for it. And then as for this year, those are really the, th the key things that I'm looking forward to seeing. Aside from the AI agent stuff, I think RWAs is still going to be very, very big this year, um, especially because it's going to bring finance on chain. Awesome. So uh, I think you uh, even answered my next question. So uh, uh, we'll just uh, probably skip it. And uh, uh, our probably new uh, traditional question that we're starting uh, from here and on. So um, uh, could you please tell us um, uh, what myth about the cryptocurrency industry would you like uh, to bust the most? One critique of the cryptocurrency or Web3 industry as a whole that I would love to have eliminated or at least reduced would maybe be the aspect of hacking and the aspect of malicious activity. 
I think it's important to recognize how there are malicious actors, especially in an area where things are more prone for other external parties to play with, for lack of a better terms. But in relation to the amount of other activity that occurs, a very, very, very minute amount of illicit activity actually happens on the blockchain. It's still important to recognize it, and it's still important to do everything we can to mitigate and reduce that. Hence why the Tron DAO is working with Tether and TRM Labs, as I alluded to and mentioned earlier, um, to reduce illicit activity on chain, and we're working with global law enforcement to do so. Now, I still think it's important that more normal sighted people or people from the Web2 industry have that in the back of their mind so that they recognize and realize that the blockchain is actually being used for a more net positive good rather than a place for a lot of negative activities, whether it be money laundering, terrorist financing, um, or anything that can be associated to bad actors. It's still a very minute amount of activity that happens on chain, while the other potentially 99% plus activity around that frame uh, tends to be good actors, or at least people who are uh, benefiting or, or creating things that are beneficial. Of course, there are other bad actors, such as like rug pulls and scams that are being worked on to reduce that. But for the most part, it is a great place to help improve businesses. Um, it's a great place for consumers to um, diversify themselves in a manner, technologically speaking, so that they can improve their business or their bottom line, especially when it comes to stable coins. There's a ton of financial benefits there. So I think that's a misconception around the Web3 industry that I, I hope going into this year um, gets uh, reduced. Yeah, that's uh, the important thing you mentioned. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh throughout uh, this kind of interviews and uh, our educational uh, materials uh, this can be achieved so that's cool Absolutely. and yeah i thought that we prepared like uh, you know uh, a standard list of questions but your answers are so confident and uh, we're actually almost at the end of uh, this story for today but we have one last uh, traditional thing we're asking our uh, guests every time so um could you please share some piece of advice for our audience? This may be some call to action, some uh, just general advice or address to a specific group of uh, audience. So whatever you find useful and uh, interesting for uh, people to hear right now from you. So please go ahead. Get educated. Get aware of the news and just stay ahead of the curve in the sense of the educational standpoint. The best thing you can do is to educate yourself as much as possible, gather as many skills as you can, um, whether it be in the form of machine learning, um, you know, programming, marketing, finance, et cetera. Um, but especially when it comes to the Web3 industry, there are so many things that you can do from gaming to DeFi, specifically payments, to RWAs, to gaming, to infrastructure, X, Y, and Z. So pick a lane, find something that you're really passionate about and, and start there and, and gather the skills to improve yourself. Obviously, uh, have conviction in yourselves. Be honest and transparent and positive. Don't be greedy. Um, and I think you'll be able to create a lot of amazing products that, that help the planet. Awesome. Thank you. And uh, actually, yeah, sounds like some uh, basic and uh, understandable things, but uh, the more times we repeat it from uh, the screens of your laptop or smartphones, uh, the more chance that it will reach the minds of uh, our audience. And uh, this is uh, really one of the most important things that uh, unfortunately many people in the industry are missing and then uh, trying to blame something or someone uh, for some fails. So Thanks a lot, Sam, for joining today. Uh, this was a very good uh, start. I believe that we'll see you in many more episodes because um, many things uh, are yet to be discussed. This one was just to warm up a little bit to summarize the last year and to make a great teaser for 2025. And you deal with it uh, just perfectly. So thanks once again for joining. Thank you for your time, Max. I really appreciate being here. Yeah, likewise. And thanks for our audience for watching till the end. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Surprise, subscribe for Synopsis, subscribe for Ton, subscribe for Sam. And uh, yeah, take care and get educated. See you in more episodes. Bye-bye.